Okay, so first of all, let's look at why you would need to use a child theme. Well, if I go back to my Manage Themes page here, you'll, you'll notice that there is an update available for the Divi theme. And so if my um, website were only based on the Divi theme, then uh, if I update that theme without being very careful, any work that I've done to modify that theme, such as here in the editor, um, would be overwritten. And so my website would possibly break or certainly be not as I wanted. Now, which files tend to get overwritten? Well, a lot of web designers will modify the style.css file here. And um, what this file does is um, uh, basically control the way in which things appear. So the font size and the color, background color, um, all of these statements here um, control appearance as opposed to, to uh, content. And there's another file um, over here on the right hand side. You can see all the files. This is the single post file. So that uh, determines the structure of a blog post. Um, the functions file here, this is a main file and um, this controls uh, widgets and um, layout of the web pages. So as you can see there's a lot of code here and a web designer may in fact need to change some of this code. But if the theme is updated that would potentially um, wipe all of those changes. And so that's why we need to set up a child theme because what happens then is that within the child theme we can make changes and as this parent theme is updated the changes that we've made specifically for our website are uh, preserved. So that's the reason for managing our website using a child theme. 